Hi guys, Rob Rain46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride Through on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with our DLC playthrough. We're going on to the next pack now, which is the Honda CBR 600 F Sport. So, uh, yeah, the category is Honda CBR 600. Five races to do. First one at Imola. And we will be using the CBR 600 F Sport. Okay. So, settings, everything as they should be. Let's get on with race one using this bike. Here we go. That was an okay-ish start. The bike's one into wheelie. We really want to go on the inside for turn one just so that we can make up a couple of positions and we have into fourth place. See if we can get another place through this left, get a good run. There we go into second. So we've got a couple more places in the slipstream of the leader. We should be able to get past him on the brakes. Gone in a little bit too hot though. Nearly on the grass. So by the looks of it, we are all on the same bike, which is great. I mean, I couldn't actually pick any other bike for this race. So yeah, we are all on the same bike. That means no one's going to have an obvious advantage. Through the double left. Okay. On the brakes. I am expecting them to catch up towards the end of the lap. Ooh, just scraped the side of the bike there on the inside kerb. That sent me wide. Have to watch out for that next time. On the brakes for the chicane. Wheelie on the exit. They've caught me up a little bit. Oh, on the grass a little bit there. Down the hill on the brakes for the left. That was fine, but I can hear the other bike behind, so we haven't really pulled away. Yep, they're still there. On the brakes for the final chicane. I've gone in a bit too hot, I think. Just a little bit. That wasn't a good exit. Oh, we're side by side. We've lost the lead. And across the line. So we're on lap two of three. Try and get the inside of this guy into turn one. Hasn't worked. He's back in front. Bit of an aggressive move as well. But there we go. Back into the lead now. I will be coming through. Thank you very much. A bit wide again. Just to run up to the hairpin. Wide is he going to come through? He thought about it, but didn't quite manage to make it through. So we're still in the lead, but only just at the moment. Oh, at the uh, rear on the grass. And very lucky to stay on nearly in the gravel as well. Trying to push on just to open a little lead. Nearly done it again, but we were not too bad on the exit that time. Okay, into the chicane. Yeah, he's closed right up into the chicane. The AI are pretty good on the brakes into that chicane. Down the hill we go on the brakes again for the left. Oh, been hit. Been hit out wide and he's back into the lead. Try and get the run out. Come on. There we go now. We're back into the lead. Last time we lost the lead coming out of the chicane. Is it going to be the same story again? Bit of a better exit. So we're just holding off now. And we lead over the line as well. Final lap time. Brakes for turn one. Again, a little hot into that. Yeah, he's closed back in, but through this left, and we should pull away a little bit now. And we have. So we've got just over half a second lead as we go into the hairpin for the final time.
It's so annoying that ever since the last um, update that the, the bug is back in the game where you cannot select first gear on the grid anymore. I hope they uh, refix that with the next update because it is a bit of a pain. Just half a second still so we're not out of the woods yet. the chicane for the final time he's going to close right in again he has this could be an interesting end to the final lap okay well he didn't nudge us wide that time we may just have this one it's all going to come down to the final chicane I think we just got a little gap we have Breaks for the chicane. Yeah, I think we've done it. Bit of a wheelie. But I think we've done it. We have. And there we go. That was a uh, pretty difficult race. But we managed it in the end. The AI obviously wanted to uh, throw a spanner in the works there. Sweet. That's first race done. Okay, so the next one, CBR 600RR 2004, okay, so we're not using the F-Sport for this one. Literally the only bike we can use as well. So here we go, Tenerife. Here we go, Tenerife again. I think we've got to do Garda Lake again in a bit as well. Oh, that was good exit. We've made up a couple of positions. Now we're on the outside, going around the outside of a few of them. We're up to fourth. And into third, maybe get second on the brakes. Yeah, so we've gone a bit wide. No, we kept it. Okay. So staying in second place for now. Try and get with that leader. I know where I'm going to be able to get past him. That will be the downhill quick section. Providing we get it right. If we get it wrong, we'll end up hitting a cliff or flying off our bike. This is the section. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's too wide in the dirt. In the dirt. Still managed to get past him. But that was not a good line through there. Get on the brakes for the left. Okay, well, we're in the lead. We've got a little lead, 0.6 of a second at the moment. Let's see if we can maintain that as we start going back uphill. Just the two laps around here. So it's not too bad. And we've got the long, long right. Probably slow down a bit too much for that. See that gap just gradually coming down. And then we've got the long right for the final corner as well. Make sure we get a good run. Don't go in the dirt. That was fine. I expect the gap is going to be about the same over the line. 0.4. It's come down a couple of tenths. But we should be okay. Because we are in the lead. And we are going to be able to pull away. Oh! Nearly into the barrier then. Gone in too hot as well. Got it stopped. We've gone wide though. Well, he's right on us. I haven't made this lap a good one, have I? Messed up a few too many times. Is he gonna gonna come past through this little kink? I'm expecting him to. 0.2 of a second lead. He hasn't. That could be job done. Because we should technically just pull away through this sector. And we have. On quite a margin. I think that is pretty much job done already. This is of course the final lap. One and a half second lead. Yeah, this one is pretty much done. 
got to go uphill. Even if we start losing time now, we've got plenty of time to be able to get to that, that final finish line. 1.2, yeah, we've only lost 0.3 of a second, and this is literally the final corner now. So just a run to the line, it's going to be another win. And there we go, two from two. Nice, five stars again. I think they're all five stars actually. Well, there we go, 1.6 we won by. So the next one, Vallelunga. Let's get on with this one. Oh, we have to buy a new bike. Okay. Oh, we can use my uh, my favourite CBR 600 livery. Sweet. I do love this limited edition livery. There we go. 2009 CBR 600 double R. Let's get on with the race. So... I've actually had to turn it down to 105%. The AI around here are ruthless and I just can't do what they're doing. It's been really frustrating. I've tried for, well, so many attempts at this race and it's just not working. Um, I can get into third place, but then that's about it. Cannot get anywhere near the leaders. As soon as I try and make up a bit of ground, if I go slightly wider, get about three of them to shove up the inside. So I've had to uh, turn it down to 105% difficulty. So um, yeah, I'm hoping we can do it this time. We're up to second already. But this bike's brakes are absolutely shocking. Fully upgraded and yeah, just struggling to get it stopped and turned into the apex. It's just really frustrating and the AI seem to be able to break a hell of a lot later and we're meant to be on the same bikes yeah gone wide it just does not feel good this bike and it's really annoying because in ride 2 with this livery on it I used to love the uh, CBR 600 but I'm not liking this one it does not feel good at all and like I said I just keep running wide can't get the thing stopped. At least you can back it in quite nicely though. That's a bonus. Can we take the lead here? Up the inside. Bit of a block pass. But we, we got it done. Into the final corner. Again backing it in. First gear is definitely your friend with this bike. Kicks the arse end out a little bit. You can get it turned in a bit better. 0.3 of a second lead, that's nothing. Three laps we've got to do around here through this long right. Got the line right, which is good. We need to get it stopped for the double right. Which I have been struggling to do. That was okay. But yeah, just really struggling with this bike around here. We've actually pulled out a little gap there. Yeah, tried it on 110% as well. And literally could get in a second. Um, but yeah, the leader just pissed off into the distance. And I couldn't do anything about it. And as before, every time I went on the brakes, um, just someone nudged me wider than about three of them would come past. So I get very frustrated with this one. But it looks like it is doable on 105. Though we have got him right with us. In fact, he's trying to go around the outside. He's going to go wide though. That will enable us to cut back underneath. Thank you very much. You stay behind. This is where we took the lead last time. We've got one lap left to go. Through the final corner. Try and get a good run out. Not spinning up the rear too much. Final lap. 
I'm going to be so happy once I've done this one. Here we go on the brakes. That wasn't too bad. 1.1 second lead. That should open up now because we always get a good exit out of that turn. That just gives us a little wedge down this little straight. Stopped. A little wide, but we can cut that back for a very late apex. 1.1, so we haven't really extended it, but we are getting towards the end of the final lap. That felt better through there, but he has closed up may have been cleaner but it certainly wasn't faster through that at turn 12 into 13.8 of a second so he is closing but it should be fine now because this is where we initially took the lead on the uh, opening lap oh nearly lost the rear nearly high sided myself final corner that is going to be job done as we just get the run to the line. That was a difficult one and a very frustrating one. There we go. I will turn it back up obviously for the next race. And then see if that is doable on 120%. There we go. One and a half seconds we won by. Garda Lake. Let's get on with this one then. 2015 Honda CBR600RR we got to use. Right, let's do it. Let's do the race. So here we are. Garda Lake. Turned it back up to 120%. That was... Uh, Pretty decent start as we go into the back of someone. Try and get the exit. There we go. We are up to fifth and now up to third on the brakes as we go into the corner of many waterfalls. He's gone very wide, in fact. He's swung back over. We're in second. We're about to take the lead. Through we go. A little hit as well. And on the brakes. Get ready to go into the tunnel. Been hit again. That sent me a bit wide. So we've lost the lead. But we've got the exit. So we're back into the lead. Two laps around here. Bit wide through there. We've lost the lead again. But again, we get a slight better exit. So we're back into the lead. Now we go through these little tunnels. Left. Oh, he's back on me. Is anyone going to hit the wall? Oh, he's going to run the outside. Two of them have. We've lost a couple of positions. They're a bit too slack on the brakes. I just wanted to make sure we got it stopped there as we go into the lead. I don't want to be out breaking myself, that's for sure, on the brakes as we go uphill. Again, trying to go around the outside. That's not going to work. Thank you very much. I'll take that back. Turn 12 to go over the bridge. He went a little bit hot into there. Oh, just hit that inside wall there. Don't want to be doing that. A big gap opener behind second place. But I am going quite early on the brakes because I just want to make sure that I'm not out breaking myself because uh, the brakes on this one do not seem much better. Again, he's right behind us. Opening up a little gap on acceleration. One second lead. Ooh, that's fine. Right, we need to get it stopped for this turn. Oh, he went in there too hot. He crashed. He's had a crash. I could just see 
But the corner on the screen, he just went way too hot into there, completely outbraked himself. So it looks like the AI are having troubles with the brakes as well, especially on that corner. We're on the final lap. We have quite a nice lead now because of that. Four seconds. So we don't have to go too crazy on this final lap. Yeah, there we go. The AI have messed up. A bit twitchy on the brakes. Through the right. Hard on the brakes. That was fine. That was better than last time, didn't go too wide that time. So 3.4 second lead, it has come down, but it's fine. It's in a minute, it should start going back up again. Felt better through that little corner. 2.8. It is coming down quite rapidly, actually. But I think now we should re-extend that a bit. Probably not up to four seconds again. But it's definitely going to be over three. Ooh. Nearly rode up the cliff. Getting towards the end of the lap now. We're nearly there. So we've got one race to go after this one. I believe is at Magni Core, so back on a proper track. 7.1 seconds, yeah. So that gap has gone up quite a margin now. I wonder if they're having troubles at any other corners as well. There we go, done. One race left to go. Five stars for us. One by 12 seconds. So I think they are pretty much all crashing at that corner. So, final race. Magnicore. And we've actually got to race modify a bike. I'm going to go with the CBR 600, seeing as that's pretty much the category that we're doing. I mean, we could just use a lone one. But... I think I would rather race modify one. Or do I use the R6? The R6 is good. No, I think uh, I think I've got to go for the Honda just because that's what we've been using in this category. So it would be silly to use anything else. So we're going to race modify our Honda CBR 600 RR 2015. There it is. There's our new beast. Race modified. So. We can do this race. Hopefully, it's competitive. Let's find out. So here we go. Magnicore. He's in our 2015 race modified Honda CBR 600 RR. It wasn't that good off the start. It was a bit sluggish. But already we've made one position up. I'm a bit concerned about the MV Augustas. I'm a bit concerned about the Yamaha R6s. In fact, I'm quite concerned about anything that isn't a Honda CBR 600RR. Looks like a Kawasaki just ahead of us. It's going to be a bit quicker in a straight line. Even using the slipstream, I can't get past. On the brakes, though. Up the inside. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, first gear just seems a bit too long. He's back in front. So first gear a bit too long. If I'd known that, I would have shortened it up the inside. 
And now we're into third. We've got a good run. Can we shove up the inside through here? Oh, the rear's going. Just about kept the rear intact there. Oh, where am I going? That wasn't good. So, yeah, we were so close to losing the rear completely then. That's a lunge. That's going to be wide. He's going to get that back. Can we get past him on the brakes? We have. Have we made it stick? No. Ooh. No, he's through. No, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. So we are back in the lead. Three laps around here. We're already on the second lap and we are in the lead. Honda's feeling alright. Like I said, just first gear just feels a little bit too long. Should have made that a bit shorter. Not really getting the acceleration at the slower corners. It's fine. It's obviously not hindering us too much because otherwise we wouldn't be in the lead right now. So on the brakes, I think we've gone in a bit too hot. We have. I'll break myself. Have we lost the lead? No, we haven't. On the brakes. Come on. This is where we had that moment with the rear in the last lap. Oh, and again, it's trying to come round. I think next time I might just try and hold second gear through that. Stop the rear coming round. A bit too wide on entrance. Second lead at the moment. Okay, so we are about to finish lap two. We've got one lap left to go, and then that will be it for this uh, this volume. One lap to go, we've got a nice lead. 2.1 seconds. Let's just see if we can push a bit more on this final lap. We are looking good. As soon as we get it stopped for the hairpin. We do. Right, let's try second gear through here. Maybe not. I think second gear is just that little bit too... Just because first gear is a bit too long, second gear... Yeah, a bit too long for it as well. So first gear, definitely. But we are going quicker than our quickest lap, although we messed that up. Just the chicane. Okay, we are done. That is that category and volume completed. Another five stars for us. There we go. One by five seconds in the end. So there is our new bike. Another Honda CBR 600 Double R. That is our prize for winning. Okay. Another one ticked off the list. Of course, we've got loads of DLC stuff to be doing. But, um, yeah, that will be coming soon. The next one is uh, 
the best of 2018. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.